This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It is an honor to have you here. We're out here cleaning the truck, but I'll take a minute and tell you some of the stories that have been happening since the weather's clearing up. And the warmer the weather, the more the stories and the crazier they can get. Absolutely. And if it gets hot, they really get crazy stories. Be that as it may, yesterday I had a woman come by mad. Okay, why are you mad? She said, well, she was at the courthouse waiting for one of her friends who had been convicted and was waiting to get him sentenced to find out how long he was going to be in jail. And while she was standing there, she thought it was a good idea to uh, give a cop that was standing off to the side the finger. Not a wise decision. And so he just grabbed her and took her in the office and wrote her up for third degree assault. Third degree assault, okay. And she was mad about it. She said, I've got uh, the, uh, the right, you know, uh, to freedom of speech. And I said, I'm not sure it covers the finger. But be that as it may, if you look at a cop, whether you hate him or not, whatever reason you feel some anxiety toward them or hatred, showing it just tell them, tells them that they should uh, adjust your mindset, your way of thinking. It's best to keep your thoughts to yourself. Oh, you can still hate them, absolutely. No law against that yet. But be that as it may, I said, that ain't a wise decision. It's kind of like when I have kids come up to the candy truck, stand off to the side, and a cop will drive by, they'll give him the finger as he drives on by. And I said, you know, he's got a mirror, and more than likely, he checks out kids when he drives on past them to see if there's anybody like that. And he will remember, probably even write your name down, so that if you ever do have trouble, he's going to remember that. Not a wise decision. I had another gentleman, he uh, came up, and he just got his driver's license, okay, and he didn't have to take the test because he didn't have any violations, but he had to do all the paperwork. While he was there doing the paperwork, there was a kid on each side of him, 16-year-old kids, a few seats over from him each, and their parents of each child was helping them fill it out because they couldn't fill out the application to even get a driver's license. Now you think about that at 16. They didn't even know how to fill it out. The basic thing that almost you'd think any school would set an application, just a basic application, and tell kids how to sign it out so they'd know how to do it, but no. And so here the parents are having to do that. And he said, you know, my parents never taught me, and I still knew how to do it. And I said, well, I was a D minus student, and I still knew how to do it. Be that as it may, he was pretty frustrated at the use. And I said, well, rest assured, they're not all like that. But it was frustrating to him because that's what he saw. And all too often, the older generation will see one kid doing something stupid or something bad, and they think they all are like that and far from it. For just as any generation has some very stupid people, they have some very evil people, but there's also a whole bunch more better people. Absolutely. In my 38 years on the street, I have pretty much can guarantee you every generation is going to have 2% that's going to have trouble in their life with law enforcement and other difficulties in that line. 2%. But that's 98% of us that are smart enough to leave the cops alone and not break the law if at all possible. If at all possible. Like I said, I see a lot and a lot of stories happen this time of year on and hopefully they'll be a better summer than last when they close the pool down on me because that hurt that hurt you guys have a good day